Hi, uh, I just want to show you quickly how uh, WebGL Globe, uh, which was an experiment by the Chrome team, works. So, for example, here we have the globe. Let's take a look at GitHub. It's at this page, uh, webgl-globe. So download the code. And I just want to show you quickly one example. So I looked at alien data sightings. So I've got alien.json here. Um, You'll probably find it on the web as a CSV file, but it's fairly easy to turn it into JSON. So what we have, a latitude and longitude, um, dates when the sightings, etc. Okay, so that's the kind of data. There's about 80,000 sightings, so it's quite long. But what we're going to need now, let's take a look at demo gives you, that the demo will give you something. So for example, here, this is the file that they give you. So this is just the demo one, and it gives world population. And the bit that you need to look at to understand what's going on is where it gets the data. So here, it's getting the data from a local file. And the data needs to be in a form. If we look at this population data here, you'll see that it's an array of arrays and so you can have sets of data here. They've got three years of data. But within each year, the data is of this form. And this is latitude, longitude, and then the height of the um, marker that you want to put on the globe. So you have a group of three, then another group of three, etc., right along the array. Uh, this is, if I... Um, do word wrap on this, you'll see it's just a, a very long array. And it looks like a mess, but what we can do for a single set of data, all we need actually is a single array of triples. Okay, so let me show you what I did here. I've just got a single array. Again, if we view it with word wrap, we've got a single array of triples, latitude, longitude, and an altitude, if you like, or the height of the spike. So just lots of these, and each triple will be uh, marked on the globe. So the code, I wrote a little uh, code here that picks up the alien JSON, and I just pick out the uh, latitude, put a comma, add longitude, and add here, and I'm doing a fixed height. And we just do use FS write to write that file out. So alien big JSON. And then here's uh, here's my file for reading it in. And I just edited the default one. And let me see here. Uh, we just want to uh, go down here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, yes. So here, I just changed the file that's being loaded, and we've got this data file which passes the file that you're loading, and you just put in add data, just that uh, file, which is an array of triples, and you can put this format, and I put in 80,000 or so points, and it seems to work fine. Uh, there's some, so for example, here's my alien sightings. Oh, I, I need to be running a, uh, let me just reload this. Um, actually, yeah, if to access the data, you need to do it via HTTP. So you need to put up an HTTP server. So you, to load the server, npm uh, um, install http-server, and that'll install the server, then you run it. So it runs on port 8080. But here you see uh, my alien sightings, and most of them are in the US. OK, so that's how to uh, get the globe, uh, GL, WebGL globe to work. OK, great.